Hi everyone. So uh, today we have uh, Pradeep. We will be conducting a sort of mock interview with him, assess his knowledge, and we will try to give him feedback where he can improve. And if you guys watch it till the end, you will make sure that it's beneficial for everyone. Uh, some sort of knowledge to entry level DevOps and cloud engineers will try to make uh, beneficial for everyone. So Pradeep, I'll hand it over to you. If you can uh, brief about yourself, what sort of experience do you bring? Uh, what's your education? Then we can uh, start from there. Good morning. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Pradeep Nag. Basically, I am from Barampur, Odisha, but currently I am staying in Bangalore for looking job. And uh, talk to my education. I have completed full year, full 15 year education. Uh, after that, I, I have completed MCA from National Institute of Science and Technology, Barampur, Odisha. Along with that, I have uh, taken courses like DevOps, AWS in on Linux platform mm -hmm. in Nares IT Hyderabad and uh, my comes to my family background we have uh, apart from me there are uh, three members in my family where my father is a government servant and my mother is a homemaker and I have a younger brother he is studying in uh, like plus two okay and okay. Uh, I am passionate about DevOps uh, which includes continuously integration continuously delivery tools like Jenkins configuration management tool like Ansible cloud technology like uh, AWS and uh, the container tool like Docker and container management tool like Kubernetes. Okay. So uh, have you worked on all these tools? Uh, what sort of understanding you have? Yeah, yeah. What I course, what course you tool. did and how long the uh, course was? Uh, I have taken DevOps with AWS course uh, and the course duration will, uh, course duration is uh, three months. How much did you pay for that? 8,000. Okay. And did you did any projects in that uh, course as well? Any any complex projects you did? Yeah, I did uh, two to three sample projects. Okay. Uh, can we see that? I'm looking at your resume and your GitHub repository. Which is your most complex project that you have done? Online voting application. Uh, but that is not a DevOps project, right? Yes. This, uh, this is a DevOps project to, to deploy in Kubernetes cluster. Okay. This project and uh, to build a Docker image from Docker file. Okay, I'm looking at your uh, this thing. Most of the content you have taken this repository from some other place and worked on it. Yes. You have it from somewhere, right? Uh, did you create it, anything in this from your? And own? one thing, uh, and I am taking Maven to build. I am taking Maven to project structure, war war file, war project structure, and. Uh, uh, inside uh, index.jsp, I will send some code and uh, I integrate with the GitHub Jenkins Maven and deploy to Tomcat web server. Also, I see in your this repository, the Docker file is somebody, uh, somebody like the original owner or author has written it. Yes, uh, but I build the Docker file from Docker image from this Docker file, existing Docker. You, you know the gap, right? In organization, you don't build an existing Docker file. You will be expected to write your own Docker file. So having, pulling or using an online vot voting app is fine. That's okay. That's a sample project. You don't have to write your Java code for that. But your Docker file should be coming from your hands, not, not something the author has written. Same goes for your Kubernetes deployment and all. So there are hundreds of other such projects going on on YouTube, which are very misleading in nature. Something will say that deploy uh, 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 a Netflix clone, YouTube clone, and all that, and all the Docker file, Terraform, and all everything associated with that project where the actual learning is, is already available. So you are just building that. And job is not for building anything existing. Jobs, companies expect you to come and write fresh new Docker files, new Terraform code, new uh, manifest files for deployment, right? So it, it have us like try to have some differentiation that this is not a college where existing textbook can be studied and uh, you can pass something. Here you have to build new every day. Okay. Uh, uh, tell me about uh, uh, Jenkins. Uh, uh, what what's your knowledge about Jenkins? Jenkins is a popular CI/CD tools mm -hmm. and it is developed by developed in Java. So prerequisite to install Jenkins is Java. Okay. And uh, Jenkins support more plugin. Uh, what sort of plugin have you of used? Jenkins, sorry? What Jenkins plugin have you used? Like GitHub plugin, Maven integration plugin to talk with Jenkins to Maven and uh, uh, Tomcat to deploy war file to Tomcat. We have a plugin like uh, deploy to container plugin. 
anything multi branch no so uh, tell me about uh, uh, something about uh, git uh, what do you know about git repository is any branching or merging merging strategies that you are aware of git is a source code management tool or a version control tool where um, developer write dev developer write code devops engineer write scripting and test tester write test cases all this code are uh, stored in a central repository um, that's why everyone can assess this code so git is a source code management tool right absolutely correct where we can manage and uh, manage all these codes yes but what branching and merging strategy do we use uh, in in when we are writing code in companies branching means uh, suppose one application is de developed some like one to two features so we have by default give master branch and according to our features we have create different different branches after that we have merged all this code into qa branch and production branch okay awesome so uh, what what does this workflow called uh, when we merge feature branches into this what this process is called have you done Branching this strategy. have you done this kind of activity like have you created branches and yes yes uh, for which project you did that sample project i have did uh, i have created two to three branch and uh, just write a sample code and uh, i will merge it to master branch okay awesome so Using git can, yeah you can you can say uh, something like pull request or merge request is being done for uh, such uh, uh, branches and also once it is merged into master then uh, how is your ci cd then uh, designed for such branches do you do all the activity uh, your branches? all this code are in github repository mm -hmm. so uh, using jenkins we have to integrate with github and whenever whenever a developer pulls the code github will trigger the job by using a webhook or scm pulling then build using maven after build you will create a war file mm -hmm. and it will be stored one copy like a artifactory like agro cd and uh, another copy will be deployed prod or staging environment or testing environment like this okay have you done this uh, putting this into uh, repository I don't uh, uh, like uh, post this war file to agro CD. I will upgrade, de build the war file. I will deploy it to Tomcat server. You don't store it anywhere, artifactory or no. anywhere. I, I'll try one one time, but uh, unfortunately, line got that's why I stopped this project. Mm -hmm. right okay, no worries. So these are the sort of slightly medium complex projects that you should be building, where you are actually pushing this this artifact into a repository. And then instead of deploying right from there, you you pull it again from repository and then deploy. So your CI process will push it to Artifactory. Then your mm. deployment process will pull it from Artifactory and then deploy. Exactly. Okay. Tell me any uh, good practices that should be followed in CI/CD uh, process. Any five uh, good practices that you follow in uh, CI/CD. What is mean? Any uh, how do you where do you store? Uh, different username and passwords that you have to use in uh, in CICD. Like uh, secrets, all the secrets, like AWS give uh, vault, vault, like Ansible. Yes. Provide, uh, but if AWS secrets are there, how I will make Jenkins, uh, those available to Jenkins? Integration with uh, using plugin. What, what, which plugin? Uh, I have no idea. But I know we have uh, secrets stored in uh, like AWS and Ansible also. Secrets are Ansible. still somewhere in secret management, but how do you make those secrets available to Jenkins? How will Jenkins know that there is a secret somewhere that I have to refer? No, I have no idea. Okay, no worries. Okay, very popular question. Public subnets, private subnets, do you know? Yeah. Okay, so tell me like just a little bit about that. Public subnet and private difference is it? Uh, public subnet direct accessed by internet gateway and private subnet is a uh, request to NAT gateway. NAT gateway will go to a public subnet through internet gateway. And in between NAT gateway, network address, address translator. And apart from this, what else makes, uh, what, what other changes you would do for uh, public subnets and private subnets? Any other, any routing required, any routing related changes? Yes. Routing means uh, in public subnet, it would direct to 0.0.0, .0, .0 but 
in uh, private subnet it will be routed to pro, um, public subnet private subnet and uh, have you deployed something in private subnet yeah i set up uh, vpc mm -hmm. and uh, i deploy one http application okay in in a private in subnet? website in a private subnet yes how did you access that website from outside yes how did you enable access on that website sorry how did you enable how did you access that website uh, you said you you run a website on private subnet right yeah how will you, you access that website port number colon 80 but that does not have a public ip address right that instance is a private instance i am asking have you deployed something in private subnet ever yeah how would you access that uh, using, using a public subnet ip but if that is in private subnet then how will you access it like uh, product public sub subnet request to, to private subnet how will you do that like can you explain that activity how do you do that what will you deploy in public subnet that will have access to private subnet recall you understand the question right yes yes that there is something in private subnet. You, you told you tell me my application is deployed on private subnet yes. so how to access this application now yes. right correct private subnet is a router the the sorry translate the uh, public subnet request to NAT through NAT gateway. Right. So if you have to public IP public subnet IP, so it will be routed my request to uh, private subnet. Okay. So I can access the website. Okay. Just just study about these things. These are some of the questions that I asked were very very basic questions, and the fact that you are struggling tells me that you are not ready for interviews yet. You need uh, to brush up on these activities. Uh, so if I go a little deep into this, then you will probably struggle even more. Uh, if I ask you to write a Docker file, I don't know if you would have done that or uh, you would know all the uh, features of a Docker file. So let's not make it more complicated. Let's um, you know give you some more time and uh, some more hands-on experience. Uh, I would suggest you you need so to. How to how to improve with it, all these tops hands on our so, projects so I, where I find the real actually projects yeah. to build so, and practice again and again. Yeah, so you need to build complex projects. You find projects, you talk to your seniors, you talk to your any of your mentors you have. Do you have somebody in the industry where who you talk See, to? Already I have completed and, and I have done my course in Hyderabad. Now I have moved to Bangalore. Yeah. That is fine. You are you are doing activities which uh, I didn't did my course does not like tell me that you know three months course is uh, especially in Hyderabad and other places a lot of institutes are there that will uh, you know take some money and will they they will do their best but their best is not enough their best is because they are they are trainers they don't have industry experience they don't know what's exactly. happening in the industry what i was asking you were very 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 basic questions so they are they are very simple uh, stuff that you should be answering with confidence which was sort of missing and uh, some concepts were also not there so the course part they have done you i wouldn't suggest you start doing more courses and you you know get into another course with some other person and build projects from here on ask your friends that uh, or your seniors or mentors or anyone you know in the industry work with them draft requirements for a project and try to build it yourself don't copy paste any repository where docker file is already there where terraform code is already there uh, that sort of thing just ask i take a voting app i i will try to build myself i will try to build i will try to containerize i will try to create a cluster and then i will deploy that app to cluster so uh, follow the entire process don't rely on anything pre-packaged. Those are the fake projects that give you fake confidence that you have built something. All right. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to suggest. You don't need to do more courses. Do study yourself from uh, free resources. Uh, study yourself with, uh, with content available online. Uh, you will automatically get direction. But start building complex projects. Search for those projects. Where I, where I find these complex projects? Uh, I don't want to say that like we also provide those resources. They are available on our channel as well. Uh, you can find okay. out on, on our channel as well as you can find out online on YouTube. And within those projects, 
if somebody is telling you that run this command and something will be deployed, try to understand what's happening behind the scene. Is it is it one to two year DevOps engineer? Which uh, tools more preferred to practice? You have so one practice. to two years. You have to practice all the tools that you have mentioned: Terraform, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes. Move away from Jenkins. Add more tools to your uh, skill set. Pick maybe GitLab, uh, GitHub Actions, uh, Azure DevOps. Any such tool. Maybe GitLab. Try to start with GitLab. Uh, Jenkins is quite old fashioned, and you need to have additional tools. Like if companies are are using GitLab, then you should be ready for that. And obviously you are already working on Terraform and, and then you need to know like your cloud experience should be strong. So work yeah. on the cloud side as well. And, and start, to start studying Azure DevOps also. I'm not my plan to study two to three days, I will start. Yeah, cool. All right, Pradeep. Uh, best of luck and you can reach out to us uh, whenever you need some help. Yeah, thank you. Sure, thanks, bye.